Fantastic. Hello there, Master Hellish here, and welcome back to my Kerbal Space Program Let's Play. Here we are in the foothills of the mountains with Jebediah. That's right, since last time I got the Mark III and I blasted off from the space station, which we can't actually see from here unless we zoom out a long way. There we go, there's the space center over here in the top of the screen. And we are all the way down here in the hills. And that is because uh, I wanted more science. So, uh, now that I've managed to land the craft here, and it took a couple of attempts, uh, this is the third Mark III that I fired over here. Uh, I managed to land them and recover them fine, because Jebediah didn't get in the hills. But this, this he's landed here now, so we're going to do Observe the Materials Bay. Uh, the material shows little signs of change, uh, though one of the samples appears to be judging you silently. Well, that's uh, science experts' opinion. Uh, we've already ha oh, have I already done material study from Kevin's Mountains? No, that can't be right. Let's do a crew report. Oh no, did I do a report up in the air? I did do a report. Have I already done all this? Let's observe the mystery goo. I observe the. I, I think I've done all this. Or why did, did, I, did I did I just need to do an EVA? I remember now. Attempt number one missed the mountains. Attempt number two uh, landed in the mountains, but the craft was landed door face down, uh, so Jebediah couldn't get out for an EVA. Uh, this time, uh, Jebediah is out for an EVA. Uh, first things first. EVA report whilst on the ladder means flying over there we are there's the science I was looking for now store it in there Jeb go on store the experiments in there we go now let go get up there we are you're in the mountains breathe the relatively light air up here at 2200 feet above sea level and do an EVA report uh, 1.4 science well that wasn't a fantastic amount was it can you get back in that's the question Jeb right oh gold well, you can fall over, that's for sure. Get in there. There we go. Well, I'm going to recover this vessel, and we will see the total science I've gathered by flying this vessel uh, over to the mountains. And I also did it in the nearby grasslands. So let's see how much we've got now. Back at the space center, uh, 85 sites. 85 science isn't too bad. Uh, let's go spend it before we do anything else. So here we are in our tech tree. Uh, we've got the starter bit all researched, basic rocketry, uh, engineering and survivability. Uh, also a general rocketry as well. Now what is on the next things? Well we, we didn't do stability. Stability allows us to add cones and winglets and side sponsor and things. Almost definitely going to have to have that. 18 science and 6,500 funds purchased. Done. No arguments. That leaves us 67 left. Now these ones cost 45 each. So we can only afford one of them. So we've got one of four to choose. We can have advanced rocket rocketry, which gives us the Terrier engine, which is going would be fantastic uh, for trying to get into orbit. But I'm not sure we're going to do that this episode. We will see what the contracts say. General construction, which gives us launch clamps, stability enhancements, um, a decoupler, and the strut connectors. They could be quite handy in future. Well, all of it's going to be handy in future. Aviation. We can actually build ourselves a basic jet plane with aviation. And I'm quite tempted to do that because there's lots of different things we could do uh, with a jet plane. Um, flight control. Yeah. Winglets, control surfaces. Do we get any control? We do get some rubbish winglets with the uh, with that other one. And basic science uh, gives us um, the thermometer, uh, the stay putnik, and a rechargeable battery packs, as well as the comms device. Well, uh, it is a bit of a close call. Uh, I think for now, because we want to try and get into... No, let, let's, let's do planes this episode. I was going to try and get into orbit, but no. Let's research this, purchase all the parts. It's a vast amount of money, 34,000. We're going to make some aircraft. We're going to make some aircraft. So let's see what we can find here. Now, uh, we've got a few different uh, contracts here. Uh, active is a speed record, but 
we're not going to do that yet. Uh, we've got to ferry some VIPs about. Uh, tourists, we've got to ferry them about. Visual surveys of Kerbin. Crew report in flight below 17,000 meters. That's exactly the sort of thing we're probably looking for with an aircraft or a plane. But hang on a minute here. What we got there? VIP trip. Suborbital space flight on Kerbin. Incomplete. That is probably... If we can do that in a plane, that would be good. Uh, if we can't do that in a plane, it wouldn't be so good. So first of all, let's do the visual surveys, mm -hmm. make a plane, and see how we get on. So uh, we'll take the visual surveys. Thank you very much. Um, let's just check. Uh, oh, hang on a minute. Uh, check the Rockamax brand decoupler at launch site. These are a no-brainer. These are brilliant. They, you get hardly any money for them. But they're in next to uh, no effort. We're going to take that. Right. First things first. Before we do our plane, we're going to do that contract. Now, the contract was to test the Rockamax brand decoupler um, at the launch site at Kerbin. Okay. Uh, so, all we need to do is get a pod, uh, find the decoupler. Now, it's this one highlighted in blue. It's experimental. Look at the size of that. And I think that would actually do it. Now, um, I'm not going to save this craft. We're not going to save it at all. Um, so we will probably just... I mean, it's, it hasn't even got a title. Let's just let's just put an O. Oh, oh dear. Uh, we'll launch it. We're not saving it. And all I think we've got to do is activate this stage. Let's see. Both the conditions are met. There we are. Stage is launched, and we can recover all the parts as well. Well, that was a nice, simple one to start out with. It got us a couple of grand anyway. Uh, but now we're going to try and build our first plane. Uh, it's not going to be a space plane. It's just going to be a standard aircraft. So the, out of the two cockpits, the Mark One cockpit is the obvious choice. Uh, then we're going to need some fuel. Uh, but... In aerodynamics, structural, we, we don't have fuel tanks for jet engines yet. Um, which means we have to get these fuel tanks, put a few of those on, and take out the oxidizer. I think I think that's the only way to do it. Now, uh, this, uh, this um, cockpit here with uh, the Master Hellish logo on, fantastic logo it's also got monopropellant we're not going to need any of that either so let's take that out right uh, nice simple plan so we let's put an engine on the back uh, structural structural aerodynamics this is where we're gonna put some wings on so we've got swept wings well they actually look quite nice uh, let's put some hmm. If we use swept wings, are we going to be able to put control surfaces on it very well? I'm not sure. Let's put them on. Maybe we'll do them in future. Ooh, in future. Can't, I don't... Those control surfaces really aren't designed for going on swept wings, are they? Oh! Oh, they fixed it! Oh, fantastic. Let's put a control surface on the end. Ah. Oh. Well, I don't know how well that's going to fly. Um, should we do two of these? Let's put two of them on. They look quite big and weighty. <laughs> they look very big and weighty. Uh, we're going to need uh, air intake, so we're going to need at least one of them. Uh, let's put... Hmm. Let's put one intake on the bottom, I think. No, on the top. On the top would be nice. There we are. It's not perfectly aerodynamic, but... Needs must at this early stage of the game. Um, and I think that's pretty much all we're going to have on that part of it. We don't need any structural bits. We're going to need some utilities. We're going to need uh, landing gear. So let's take a steerable landing gear and pop one of them at the front quite high up. We might adjust that later on. And fix landing gear over here on each side. So... Um, Let's move in a little bit put symmetry on I think quite wide gives us the wider the better is going to give us the most stability now will that clear ah, now they also need to be far enough back otherwise we're not going to be able to tilt 
and lift up. Um, let's bring them even f further back and out. Further back and out. Okay, let's let's put them there. We we'll see how that goes. Um, and what we're going to do, just because everything's going to be horribly wrong, uh, we're going to put some parachutes on it. Uh, we'll put them near the centre of, uh, probably around the centre of mass. Let's just check the centre of mass. There's the centre of mass. There's the centre of thrust that goes through the centre of mass. That's good. Centre of lift is behind the centre of mass. I think we really ought to try and get that kind of more balanced. I think. Well, that's... No. We can't have it like that. What we'll do... What we'll do is we will put now winglets don't have con they have a lift surface but no control surface and i think oh hang on tail fin is a control surface oh yeah we'll have some of these get rid of that we'll have a tail fin on the back just one there we go one tail fin on the back but what we'll also have is some tail fins on the front two of them that does two things it gives us a lot more control and it also brings our center of lift forward and we're going to lose mass from the front as we go if you think about it this liquid fuel is going to drain out and that center of mass is going to fall backwards then this is going to uh, drain out. The centre of mass is going to move that way a little bit. Um, yeah, let, let's let's leave it like this. We'll put lots of fuel in so it explodes lovely when it when it hits the ground. And uh, a parachutes parachutes. We're going to put some parachutes on this uh, for the inevitable moment when it all goes horribly wrong. Uh, symmetry. Uh, let's have them facing the right way. There we go. We're going to put some on the top of the wings here. And just to help balance things out a little bit, uh, I think we ought to put one on the nose. One on the nose. There we go. Oh, actually, that's probably not a very good place to put it, is it? I mean, ideally, it wants to be on top of the cockpit, but... Um, let, let's put it on the nose anyway. I know it's not the best place for it, but it will do for the test vehicle. So, um, we're going to start off with a very basic naming convention for these test vehicles. And we're just going to call it Plane Mark 1. There we are, Plane Mark 1. We're going to save that. And uh, for the uh, aircraft, uh, I think Jebediah, he's been really good in our space planes. But it's time that Valentina came out. She's going to be our uh, plane pilot. I really have no idea if this is going to work. In theory, in theory, I think it will. Um, but I've not used some of these parts before. These wheels weren't in the game when I uh, first started Kerbal Space Program before. So let's give it a go. All the oxidizers out. We have an intake. Right. Um, we want to turn the parachutes. Uh, we want to put the engine in a different staging. Right. Let, let's save that and launch. Well, here it is. Um, on the runway. Very wide landing uh, gear spread. That can be good for stability, but the engine's quite close to the ground I don't like that I do like that it's pointing upwards uh, pointing upwards is usually a good thing Valentina uh, if all goes wrong we're relying on the parachutes to bring you home safe so we're going to just taxi this off the runway and the reason for that is, is in these early levels uh, the runway is actually more rough than the grasslands so we're going to <laughs> we're going to use the grasslands uh, so throttle down I'm going to release the brakes, put the SAS system on because Valentine is a pilot and let's activate that engine and throttle it up just a little bit. There we go. And let's just... Oh, well it's turning. It's turning okay. Let's just... Oh, it looks weird. It looks really weird. 
Uh, that's just a bit of breaks as we come down. Okay. Here we go, Valentina. Um, let's spin up the engine. I'm not going to go max power. Let's just let's just trundle her along at a few meters per second and see how the craft handles. It should want to take off naturally. Quite a bit of speed. A little bit of shaking. Let's just try and give us a little bit of lift. Oh! I, I did a little bit of lift there and it came up quite nice. It came up quite nice. We're still accelerating. I'm going to bring the throttle down to about a third. Well, Valentina, I think we have our first successful uh, flight of in an aircraft. And we do have a contract that we could try and fulfil. So, uh, let's try and find this place. So, let's just go to the map a second. Now, this place is... Um, it's out to the north, north, east. So, let's... Oh, we are more or less heading, heading in that direction. We set it as a target. Can we set it as target? Activate navigation. I don't know how that works. Navigate set to sector. Oh, it's on our nav ball. Right, let's try and do some movements in this craft now. Let's see how well it rolls. Whoa. It rolls quite well, but it ends up pitching down slightly. Okay. That's good. That's good. Let's see how much uh, it pulls up. Oh, yeah. Pulls up pretty good. We're losing a bit of speed. I'm going to throttle up. Yeah. That's not too bad. Not too bad for a basic aircraft. Not too bad at all. Well, uh, let's uh, try and just like your... Oh, wow. Yeah, that yaw just, just wallops itself around there. It can't be good for the craft. Oh, well, we've got plenty of fuel. Valentina is loving this flight, uh, as am I. I think it's great. We're going to be able to complete this contract as well. Um, I, this was supposed to be just a short test flight, but let's, let's go over and complete the contract. Now, it's got a little way for me to get over there, um, but let's see how this aircraft reacts uh, when we speed up time. Yep, a little bit of wobbling, but it's quite happy. Uh, slowly increasing. Yeah. Okay, well, I will see you when... Ooh, no, vibrations, slow down. <laughs> I will see you when we get over to the objective, and hopefully we can get this craft in and do the science and whatever we need to do and then bring it back safely. Now, we're not quite there yet. We've been cruising for a little while, but what I've decided to do is open up the throttle on this thing. Um, I've, we've got it set now to max power. We didn't really do that. And... It is accelerating quite a lot. Um, Fuel is looking good. Height is fine. It does really jerk around. Let's put fine controls on. Our fine controls makes it fly better. Um, oh no, it's starting to go too quick, I think. Oh, we're getting uh, well, we're getting nice Mach effects on it. Looking good. Right, now where is this... Where is this uh, objective? Is it far away? We're actually starting to get quite close to it. I think we might need to bank round slightly. Is the sun setting? Oh, we're entering the sector. Slow down. Crew report, crew report, crew report. Got it. Contract complete. And here's our notification. Uh, perform visual surveys. 8,000. Fantastic. Let's bin that. That's the um, testing the decoupler at launch pad. Let's bin that. Well, I just I need to bring Valentina home now. So I think the only way to do this is with a celebratory loop the loop. So, throttle to max, Valentina. And we're not going to do a complete loop de loop. We're going to come round. Oh, God. 
Valentina nearly pulled, nearly pulled 10 G's there. Bring her over and whip it round. Oh yeah. Fantastic. Well, that's all there's left to do today is, is to land this and bring Valentina back home safely in the Mark 1 plane. Um, may, I feel confident about this plane. I feel happy to remove uh, the parachutes. It flies perfectly well. Uh, landing it might be difficult, but we, we will see. So, I'm going to fly back to the Space Center and I will see you on our final approach. Okay. We're coming in for our final approach. Well, I don't mean final. Uh, Valentina, just throttle back a little bit. Let's roll her over. Pull her, pull round. Oh, 14 Gs we pulled then. Uh, as we whipped the craft round. I'm sorry, Valentina. That was pretty, pretty hard. And look at you all. You're loving it. You do. You love the danger, don't you? Well, we're coming in a little bit off centre, but I've, I've got the feeling we can sort that out. Uh, we're going to go into a glide soon, but I want to get down a little bit. But don't worry, there's plenty of time to stop this craft. Plenty of time. A little bit of up and down movement slows us down. And as soon as we get close to that water's edge, we're good. So, we're coming in now, slight angle, 400 metres up. Coming over the water, cutting the engine. Going to do a hard pull up. And a hard pull down. Just slows us down. And we need to... Oh, no, no. We're too slow, too slow. Bit of throttle. Just a little bit of throttle so we can coast towards the runway. That's it. That's enough. That's enough. Cut that throttle. I wanted to come in at about 50 and I started dropping to 40. Okay, so here we go. Slightly off centre, but we can correct. Or is it just going to glide forever? Keep it pulling up. It's gliding for a long time. If we overshoot the runway, that's okay, I don't mind. It's starting to come down at about 60. Keeping it level. And we touch down. Tapping the brakes. The brakes don't seem to be doing much. We are slowing down a bit. We're gonna we're gonna go off the end. But that's okay. Not a bad landing, Valentina. Not a bad landing at all. I'm gonna take the brakes off and just rotate the craft round so that we end pretty much back where we started, really. Well, I must say, Valentina, I am impressed. Um that was a fantastic first flight could not have been better um, so we're going to leave it there for now um, Valentina's success is going to end the day and we were going to leave the mark one I'll probably tweak it a little bit later on and um, next time we will work we'll do find out what we're gonna do with those tourists we'll sort those tourists out um, shut down that engine there we go and um, maybe, maybe we'll go into orbit as well. But that's all from me for now. I'm enjoying this. I hope you are too. And until I see you next time, goodbye.